I'm Blake Suniga, and with me at the broadcast table are Tim Swartz and Brian Banifatemi. And now we take a brief look at the matchups for our tip-off coming moments from now. Anytime these teams get together, the atmosphere is intense. I mean, this is as good as a rivalry as we have in the WNBA. Yeah, there is a special energy in the building tonight. You just get the sense that something memorable is about to happen. Well, it usually does in this matchup. These teams bring the best out in each other. Now here is Atkins. Here's Austin. And she buries that one, drilling the rim on the way down. Misam on outside. And here's Ali Quigley outside. It's rebounded by Elena Deladon. Pass to Cloud. Back to Deladon. And there's the foul. It's on Elena Deladon. That's her first foul. Terrific defensive play. Cut her off. Squared up. Nice play. Yeah, and that's showing some toughness on defense. Getting physical, sticking her nose in there, and making a play. Now here's Vandersloot. Inside. And the basket by Copper. Fantastic touch from Copper there. You can see how locked in she is scoring inside. Pass to Deladon. Screen by Deladon. Right side, Atkins. And the three off target. Even without that three ball dropping for her, the defense should have done way more on that last play. Yeah, I mean, he's got to be better as a coach. You can't stand seeing her having that much space to get her shot off. Now here's Miesemann, just four to shoot. Pass to Vandersloot from the yard. Doesn't go for her. So the Mystics will take it the other way. The inaugural season of the Washington Mystics? Well, that would be 1998, as they were one of two expansion teams in the second season of the WNBA. Clark with it, Parker defending. Cloud outside. And another miss by Washington. And it's the sky ball. Misamon inside, Deladon covering. Up top, Misaman. From deep alley quickly. The Mystics pull it in. And for the 98 Mystics, basketball-wise, there's no way around it. They struggle. Yeah, they win a league worst three and 27. However, you know, the legacy of that year for Washington, and way more importantly, the Mystics fans leading the WNBA in attendance, building what we've seen to be over the years a fantastic fan base. Now here's Quigley. Pass to Vandersloot. Copper. Misamon inside. Della Dawn's there. There's the three. Atkins grabs the board. The Mystics leading. Austin. Candace Parker with the rebound. And it's the sky ball. Down low. Good, and the assist goes to Kalia Copper. The experience of Parker, it makes her tough near the hoop. She just figures out ways to score. Pass to Deladon. Clark. Here's Austin. Nice spin off the left rim and in. Superb assist. She was crafty, creative, and the ultimate teammate on that play. They really want to find that igniter here. That's right, their offense is ground to a standstill. Maybe you need to suit up, Tim. They need a spark. Now here's Quigley. No scoring yet from her, but that's likely to change. Beesom on for three. First shot, first basket. She is out of the blocks fast. A rare big that can stretch defenses well beyond the arc, and I think that's just a product of Misamun's constant quest to expand her skill set. Oh, some quick uh, retaliation right there, huh, guys? Yeah, it sure didn't take them long to go and get those three points back. Misamun outside. Pass to Quigley. 
Great D that time from Shakira Austin. Great defense right there to prevent one of the best finishers in the league from converting in close. On the wing, Natasha Cloud. Yellow Dawn with it. Here's Austin. Shoots over quickly. And it's Austin missing. Misamon with it. Cloud picks her up. Andrew Sloot outside. Copper. The kick out to Quigley. Misamon for three. The shot is good. Ali Quigley making the play. With guard like perimeter shooting skills, Misamon continues to show how unique of a big she really is. Now here's Deladon. Looking for her first basket still in this one. On the wing, Natasha Cloud. And the Mystics hit again from deep. Showing that competitive fire. Natasha Cloud takes pride in coming back with a three of her own. Well, Natasha Cloud is a player who just gets better every year she's out there. A second round pick out of a smaller school, Cloud fought for a spot in this league, and now she's thriving. Outside, Quigley. Back to Misamon. Three-pointer. The Mystics pull it in. Now Cloud. Pass to Deladon. Clark. Deladon a screen. Cloud outside. To the middle. And the basket by Deladon. And looking at point guard Natasha Cloud, her numbers have improved each season. Now Cloud having a great 2019 playoffs, helping the Mystics win their first WNBA championship. And off the floor, on the front lines of social justice initiative, and Natasha Cloud always ready to speak her mind and make a difference. Now here's Copper. Vander Sloot outside. Hits it from three-point range. Yeah, and you know, assists aren't particularly Quigley's bread and butter, but she shows great poise in finding the wide-open shooting. Here's Clark. Deladon a screen. Left side, Atkins. The three is up. It's rebounded by Quigley. The sky trail. Pass to Vandersloot. The three, and again, it's the sky from deep. Well, Vandersloot is more than capable of knocking down shots from downtown, and that does a lot for her team's spacing. Atkins with it. Cloud. And here's Deladon to the paint. And there's the three-second violation. That goes to Chicago. Substitution on the court. Chicago now. Right side, Parker. Pass to Evans. For three. The Mystics pull it in. On the wing, Shatori Walker Kimbrough. Out to the wing. Now here's Mashida. She's covered by Gardner. A shot by Mashida, no good. Chicago leading. Here's Gardner. Pass to Parker. Austin with the steal. And here's Mashida. Launches it. She's now one for two with that bucket. Yeah, Mashida, definitely a threat from range, especially when she gets the look she likes. Heber. Gardner. Hawkins covering. Evans. And they come right back with their own three-pointer. How about that? Responding to the three-pointer against them with a quick one of their own. Yeah, terrific little back and forth right there, Tim. Been a lot of fun to watch. And it's Austin missing. Well, for what's a routine shot, you look a little nervous on that release, wouldn't you say? So at the end of one quarter of play, still a close game. Sky out in front. 
up by one. And don't go away as we'll be back with the action for the start of the second quarter in just a bit. And off we go. A close game now entering the second quarter. And when you consider how the Sky are doing, guys, what are your thoughts? But simply a great display of team basketball, Brian. This is five players working as a unit. Just beautiful team basketball on display. Now here's Gardner. Wyatt so far offensively searching for first points of the game. Just five on the clock. Here's Alema. Knocks down the three ball. Love the pass from Evans. Has a strong feel for when to dish it. Pass to Walker Kimbrough. Williams sets the screen. Here's Westbrook. Puts up the three. That doesn't go, and she's 0 for 1 from the field. Well, the 2021 WNBA Finals were a bit of a shocker. The Sky came in as underdogs against the Mercury, but nevertheless, Chicago won the series 3-1 with a pair of comfortable wins. I'm on with it. Here's Gardner. No good from outside. Quarter number two with just over a minute of play. Pass to Mishita. Rejected by Azaray Stevens. With a good motor and high level of activity, Stevens has become a force on defense. Clock at six from deep, Ariel Atkins. Count it, her second make in four attempts. And man, what a special final series for the 2021 Chicago Sky. In a series of stars, Kalia Copper stole the show, winning finals MVP. Courtney Vandersloot at least 10 assists in every game. And of course, Candace Parker with the storybook ending, winning it all with her hometown team. The first pro basketball title in Chicago since MJ and the Bulls back in 1998. And she's good on the three ball. A player that truly loves to learn. I think it's cool how Atkins is always asking questions because she is all about competing and improving. Now here is Hebert. She hasn't yet put up any points in this one. They get it again. Pass to Misaman. Alema. Good, and it's Emma Misaman who picks up the assist. Not a flashy passer per se, but Misaman can move the ball well and locate her open teammates. Now here is Atkins. She's got nine. Fires the three. The shot, no good. The sky go the other way with it. To the inside. Here's Alema. For the basket, her fourth, and she's only missed one of her five shots tonight. Yeah, it's the tall frame of Stevens that allows her to see the floor so well and distribute accordingly. Now here's Williams. Some solid defense from Ruthie Hebert. And just under three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. One up, one down. Two points with our first shot in this game. Well, this is why Hebert shoots such an impressive percentage, because she knows when she should look to score. Now Westbrook. Pass to Mishita. To stop the run. And another miss by Washington. Inside. Here's Evans. Great pass to set up the land. A few more points added to the lead. They might be ready to pull away. It wouldn't surprise me with as good as they're looking at the moment. Absolutely right, Brian. They're looking really strong. Here's Westbrook. Atkins up top. Pass to Deladon. 11 feet out. And she hits the jumper for two. 
just comfortable scoring everywhere on the court. Deladon showing her mid-range game. The top recruit in the nation out of high school, Elena Deladon actually played volleyball during her first year of college. And you know, Deladon was set to go to UConn, but last minute decided to go home. Came back to Delaware. I wanted to be close to home. She's very close with her sister Lizzie, who has cerebral palsy, is blind, and is deaf. So spending time with Lizzie was so important for uh, Elena Deladon. Well, there are multiple ways to build a team, especially with draft picks, Tim. Well, some teams that are trying to win now by using this currency, a way to acquire veteran talent. Others like to pile up the draft picks, trying to find their next star. And you know, both strategies work. It just kind of depends on what you're looking for. You can put together a team in different ways, and that's one thing I love about this league. Now, here's Quigley. She's been patient so far, nothing yet on the scoreboard. Copper, Deladon covering. And here's Allie Quigley outside, drops in the tray. Showing off the range right there. When Allie Quigley gets a good look from deep, she does not pass it up. Cloud with it, Vandersloot defending. Now here's Cloud, solid play on the low block and that one's good. The defender was looking for answers after that move, but I'm not sure they found any. That was beautifully done and an easy layup. Now here's Vandersloot. Ten point lead. Quigley shot is off. Fires for three. It's hauled in by Allie Quigley. One item that stood out is their ball movement. Things are definitely clicking and more importantly, it's tough to defend. Pass to Misaman. Outside quickly. Launches a three, but they'll get another chance. Back to Misaman. Let's go with a three. Rebounded by the Mystics. Here's Cloud. He has five. Pass to Deladon. Side Atkins. The shot's good. Alicia Clark making the play. Nobody, and I mean nobody, will outwork Ariel Atkins. She's passionate about the game and genuinely wants to do well. Now here's Vandersloot. She's got six. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Two minutes. Back to Misaman. Vandersloot. Oop, there's the 24-second violation, so they'll turn it over. Both teams deciding to change it up. And here's Walker Kimbrough. Time out, time out. And the Mystics call time here. Well, with how good the Mystics have been lately, it's kind of hard to believe that they really struggled over the years. From 2003 to 2016, Washington didn't win a single playoff series for 14 straight seasons. So Chicago going with an almost entire new group here. She's got five. Up and in on the layup. Despite a lot of losing over the years, Washington still had incredible support. Yeah, you got to give it up for these fans. The Mystics led the league in attendance 10 of their first 14 seasons. And of course, those fans have been rewarded. What a run Washington has had of late. A lot of success. The Mystics trailing. Alicia Clark on the wing. She's covered by Gardner. Pass to Austin. That one's good, and so Natasha Cloud gets the assist. You can't leave somebody open on Natasha Cloud's team, because when you do, she's going to make sure they get the rock. Now here's Alamon. She's covered by Cloud. And here's Gardner. Count the bucket, coming off a perfectly placed assist. 
a bigger guard, Gardner is pretty strong around the basket. Now here's Walker Kimbrough. Evans covering. Pass to Austin. Cloud. The screen by Austin. The 11-footer, and that's good for two. So deadly in the pick and roll. Cloud can pass it out of this set, and she can score it too. A real dual threat point. Seven second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Here's Alama, nailed from three point land. She is just bombing it today. How many more threes are we gonna see from her? Well, we've already seen a lot. I mean, she's got more points from outside the arc than inside the arc. And it's Palamon with the foul. That is her first foul of the game. Cloud with it. She's got nine. Pass to Austin. Good if it goes. And so that's the end of the first half. Sky out front, leading by six. And we will see you back here after the break for third quarter basketball in just a bit. Second half getting underway. Both teams battling hard for the first two quarters. And you have to like what we're seeing out there from Alamon. Well, the threes have been falling for her at an incredible rate. That first half, absolutely ridiculous. And here in the second, she's got to just keep taking them and keep making them. There is no reason for her to stop. This one for three. And again, Blair. it's the sky from deep. Just a classic modern wing. Kalia Copper is more than capable for three-point land. Deladon outside. Clark. Deladon a screen. Pass to Cloud. Shoots the three. No good on that shot. The sky go the other way with it. They held a 12-point lead earlier. After spending her first 13 seasons in Los Angeles, Candace Parker returned home, signing with the Chicago Sky in 2021. Park can't hit. Chicago in the lead. Vandersloot outside. Pass to Quigley. Misamon with it. Now Copper. Deladon covering. Five to shoot. Now here's Quigley. The three-pointer off the mark. And Candace Parker had a storybook homecoming to the Windy City. But Candace winning the 2021 title with the Sky, their first WNBA title. And uh, playing her home game just about an hour away from her hometown of Naperville. 2021, a dream year for Candace Parker. Now here's Parker. Pass to Quigley. The tray. And the rebound goes to the Mystics. And we're just around two minutes into the final half of play now. Screened by Deladon. Ariel Atkins on the wing. The shot's good. Alicia Clark making the play. Well, you want to get back into a ball game? Knock down threes. Another three from her getting them that much closer. Well, she knows all about that. I mean, most of her points have come on the three-point shot today. Now here's Vandersloot. She has six. Pass to Quigley. From deep. They get the rebound. And the basket by Parker. You can't question Parker's effort level on the glass. She loves beating opponents to the ball. Deladon with it. Deladon a screen. Now Austin. From 12 feet out. And that's good. Off the glass that time. That's what I call pretty passive. Timely recognition as to where the open teammate was. Outside quickly. Misamon. 
Back to Quigley. Pass to Vandersloot. From outside the arc. From downtown. Not going to go that time. And Washington will go the other way with it. Second half here, and we're just over three and a half minutes into it. Austin. Rebounded by Parker. I don't know if she was playing to the crowd, trying to make the highlight reel. I don't know. But, 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 but no need for the fadeaway there. Pass to Quigley. Back to Vandersloot. From deep. Sinks the three-pointer. The jumper is so much better from Vandersloot. Remember back in her rookie year in 2011? She was under 40% from the field. Now she's normally around 50%. Now here's Clark. Pass to Cloud. The three ball. Deladon inside. She's covered by Copper. Rejected by Candace Parker. And it's Austin missing. And it's the sky ball. They held a 12-point lead earlier. On the wing, Ali Quigley. Defended by Atkins. Back to Misamun. Quigley. Shot clock at six. And here's Candace Parker for three. A rebound by Della Don. Well, there's just something special about coming home. And just ask Candace Parker. After spending her entire career in Los Angeles, Parker joined her hometown team, the Chicago Sky, in 2021. Now here's Clark. Three-pointer Natasha Cloud. She scores her fifth field goal, and she's taken nine shots to get there. As intelligent as anyone in this league with the ball, Clark, I mean, she's always going to find the open teammate. And for Candace Parker, returning to the Windy City, a special place in her heart. Now, the future Hall of Famer first was put on the map in high school, Naperville Central, just about an hour out of Chicago. Candace said she was so excited to play in front of family and friends in Chi-Town and the sky so thrilled to have her back home. Time called here. The Mystics decide to talk it over. the steal. Knocked loose. Stolen by Hawkins. Mashita with it. And Parker picks her up defensively. Check out the vision from Hawkins. That kind of unselfishness will give her team a spark offensively. Outside Parker. Past Alama. Parker. Outside, quickly. The three-pointer, no good. She keeps trying to force it up when she's guarded, and she's just getting brick after brick. Here's my suggestion. Move the ball around. Here's Austin. Ooh, no luck on that one. Some solid defense from Candace Parker. Outside Evans. Past Alama. From past the arc. Ashida grabs the board. The Mystics trailing. Let's it go from deep. She can't get that one to fall. And Chicago will come the other way. Stevens with it. Williams there. Past Alama. Quigley with it. Jacks up a three, buries the long-range jumper. Great shooting instincts from Quigley. Just gets the ball and takes her shot. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, it's been a long time without a bucket. Focus. Now here's Atkins. 
15 points in the game. Brings it from beyond the arc. Three's going down quickly at both ends. What an answer. You come at me with the three, I'm coming right back. Everybody gets a three. Here's Parker. Deep Valley quickly. Ashida grabs the board. Yeah, the great shooters, they know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice there. Yeah, not very good defensive coverage that time. The team got lucky. Hawkins and the Mystics hit again from deep. Well, if you're a coach, you want Rui Machida running your offense, a great decision maker, totally unselfish. On the wing, Dana Evans. Pass to Parker. Quigley. That doesn't go either for Ali Quigley. She's been ice cold from three-point range since halftime, and she continues to fire away. She's got to tone it down. For the lead. Rebound Chicago. They held a 12-point lead earlier. Pass to Evans. Takes the three, trains the three-pointer. Well, Evans can absolutely knock it down. She's very patient and makes sure she gives the shot everything she has. Now Atkins. Here's the three. That shot off. The third quarter comes to a close. Sky out front, up four. And when we return, we'll get the fourth quarter rolling here on 2K Sports. And while we have the chance, let's go to our State Farm assist of the game. She showed us she's got a little point guard in her with this tremendous setup. That was a terrific pass, no matter what position it came from. But it does make it stand out a little more when it's made by her. And we're set to start up the action in the fourth quarter. And if it's anything like the first three, we should be in for a treat. Now here's Cloud. And that's good, Alicia Clark for three. Well, you talk about the most accurate shooters in the game, Clark might just be it. So you cannot let her get comfortable off of a pass. Well, you talk about perseverance, and you talk about never giving up. You have to talk about Rebecca Gardner. She didn't make her WNBA debut until she was 31 years old after spending a decade overseas. Both good at the line. A training camp invite for the Chicago Sky in 2022. Gardner ended up making the roster for the defending champions. Filling in for an injured Allie Quigley, Gardner seizing her opportunity, a spark plug type player making the most of her time in the league. Now here's Cloud, six on the shot clock. Here's Williams. Here's Della Don. The bank shot, no good. Chicago in the lead. Vandersloot right side. Here's Gardner. Good, and it's Emma Misaman who picks up the assist. A towering presence on the court, and I think it's Misaman's height that helps her analyze the floor so well. Woo! Outstanding dribble drive, and that replay was brought to you by Mobile One. Well, it's all about breaking the paint, whether it's creating for a teammate or for yourself. Now here's Cloud, and another three for Washington. I'm not the biggest fan of that shot, but guess what? She had the space to get it off, so why not? Pass to Vandersloot. Let's the three fly. And Hebert gets the whistle that time. That is her first foul of the game. This is a type of competitiveness you love to see. How about Vandersloot stepping up and hit the revenge three ball? Now here's Cloud. Vandersloot defending. Clark outside, pass to Cloud for three. And the Mystics hit again from deep. How about that for a response? We'll give you a three and then we'll take it right back. It's turning into a three point contest. Now here's Vandersloot. 
Here's Gardner, three-pointer, and again, it's the sky from deep. Solid ball movement by Vandersloot. She's got a great eye for spotting open teammates. Here's Walker Kimbrough, makes it off the glass. The second she got around the pick and shook her man, it was straight to the bucket for the easy deuce. Very well done. Now here's Gardner. Pass to Vandersloot. Gardner, back to Vandersloot. Fires from deep and right on through for another basket. She's got five made on five for nine shooting. And here's Deladon. Screen by Deladon. Now Cloud. There's the triple. Misamon pulls it in. Vandersloot right side. Hebert takes the three, but they get it back. Pass to Vandersloot. And here's Copper. She's covered by Cloud. Six to shoot. Courtney Vandersloot for three. The Mystics pull it in. Cloud with it. Now guarded by Copper. Clark outside. Walker Kimbrough, Williams, Misama uncovering. Williams sets the screen. They grab their own miss. And the basket by Deladon. A hard-earned bucket. It's so refreshing to see a player like Deladon who never gives up on a play. She just plays with so much fire and passion. Now here's Vandersloot. Pass to Gardner. Out to Vandersloot. Here's Gardner, covered by Walker Kimbrough. Misam on for three. Good on the three-point shot. That's a great job by Rebecca Gardner of rotating the basketball. And her teammate ends up with a wide open look. Cloud outside. Courtney Vandersloot with some nice D. Hebert outside. Vandersloot outside. Misses the three. The Mystics trailing. Pass to Cloud. Deladon with it. Deladon a screen. Now Cloud. Beyond the arc. Another miss by Natasha Cloud. Now Gardner. Back to Copper. The three. Elizabeth Williams pulls it in. So it's Washington now. And they've been looking at a sink offensively. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Clark outside. Pass to Cloud. Puts up a three. That one, no good. Right now, she needs to find another way to contribute besides shooting the basketball because she can't get anything to bounce her way this quarter. Courtney Vandersloot for three. The shot misses. So the Mystics will take it the other way. Now here's Deladon. Here's Cloud. Back to Deladon. And a foul on the shot. She'll go to the stripe for two. And Rebecca Gardner picks one up. Always thinking big picture. Deladon said she wanted to be the best female basketball player in the world when she was just four years old. No good on the free throw. And she sinks the second. Chicago with the ball. Six-point lead. Out to the wing. Here's Vandersloot. Good, and the assist goes to Kalia Copper. With an array of moves at her disposal, Vandersloot's able to beat defenders in a number of ways. Washington calls timeout. One player who's been getting it done is Vandersloot. She's been killing it from deep. They've got to be up on her jersey at all times. Give her an inch, 
And guess what? She's going to drop in another three. And some changes here for the sky. Cloud. Della Dawn with it. She's guarded by Stevens. Della Dawn shots good. A bump, not enough to stop Della Dawn. She almost invites contact as she goes up. Timeout called the sky. Guy making a change here. And so it's Chicago with it. They held a 12 point lead earlier. Back to Evans. Let's go with a three. It's rebounded by Elena Deladon. by Austin. Deladon outside. A beautiful reverse layup. Used to stepping up in the big moments. Elena Deladon is, is a player you love taking these kinds of shots. On the wing, Dana Evans. Down low. From deep Valley Quigley. Cans it from downtown. Of all the players you want to leave open out on the perimeter, she is the last person on the list. Deladon with it, picked up by Quigley. Pass to Deladon. Shoots over Quigley. Kicks it out to Deladon. Back to Austin. Atkins. It's in! And now they trail by just four. Unafraid of pressure-filled moments, Atkins attacks the defense and raises her game up a notch when it matters most. And so they choose to intentionally foul. First personal foul, team's first. Second team foul. On defense, the Mystics. Deep Valley quickly. And again, it's Chicago with a three. And with that basket, you have to think this lead is safe. I don't know if I'd call it 100% secure, but at least 98%. I'll go 99.2. Shot and game clock separated by five. Pass to Evans. From outside the arc, bangs home the trifecta. And they're not finished yet. They're going to make sure about this win. Yeah, they're not taking any chances. This is how you close a game out. Just look how happy their coach is. Park can't hit. Here's Evans. Off target. No problem for Chicago as they get the win. And in the end, a comfortable win in what was a pretty hostile environment. Yeah, you know, it's never going to be easy uh, on the road. But they didn't have too many problems tonight. And that's a wrap, everyone.